Hey, this is not certain where the tier 10 American battleship Montana. She has 12 406 millimeter guns, 20 secondary guns, 100 AA defense rating, a surface detect of 15.6 kilometers, top speed 30 knots, total health 96,300. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase AA range, increase main battery accuracy, reduce the chance of flood and fire, faster rudder shift, concealment. For my commander, situation awareness, basic survivability, basic firing training, faster turret, traverse, and superintendent. We are on the map Ocean. And for whatever reason, my recent Ocean games have been fantastic. I can't tell you how much I prefer Domination to Standard on Ocean. Standard on Ocean is like pulling teeth. And it was so bad when there was no protection for draws. I bet you most of my viewers don't even know how a draw would occur now. They've never seen one. Well, it was much, much worse. And it's terrible seeing a player just run away and hide for a draw. That's not fun. You wait out the whole 20 minutes. These games already take a really long time compared to other games. So, the Montana. It's a little bit faster, and it's a little bit more accurate. And I would say... It has a tighter accuracy. It is more predictable where the shells will go in that accuracy circle. That's what they changed. It's a hidden stat. It's not going to show up on any spreadsheet. You're not going to see it in game. They just bumped it up a little bit. So it's a little bit more predictable. And I think it shows. I think it really does show for the U.S. battleships. The North Carolina, the Iowa, and the Montana feel a little bit more predictable where the shell is exactly going to go. I can't say that I'm having more success with Citadels because the stats were a little skewed for a while. Remember when you could over-penetrate and still get a Citadel? My Fuso, tons of damage. That is an example of over-penetration causing Citadels as well. It's a lot of damage whenever you can Citadel and overpin. You can't do it anymore. So I can't say for certain, hey, it's way better. My stats show. Stats don't show because at one time, you were getting Citadels when you didn't deserve them. So we're engaging at range against some cruisers. This enemy, Mogami. He turns in just at the right time to avoid most of the shells. We only do 5,800. The team has captured A. The enemy is attempting to capture B. They scared off the Friendly Destroyer, and the Friendly Destroyer is dead. Who could have seen that coming, right? You can't overextend. Once you realize you're in trouble, you need to pull back. It's that simple. And for whatever reason, players in rank do the exact same thing. They go into a point, and they won't give it up. They're going to fight until they die, and that's a bad strategy. But you know it's a good strategy when you hit a hipper at a semi-long range for 13,000 points of damage. That really helps your team out. So we're looking pretty good. At this point in the battle, I'm going, okay, some of them are showing perfect broadsides. Some of them are really easy to penetrate, and hopefully I can. And others probably see just my ship. So I need to be aware of my angling. I don't want to show a perfect broadside to the enemy battleships. That would be really bad. I'm trying to look for a target that's willing to show their side. And yeah, I was stuck on the Yamato for the primary target. I had to select the Montana because that was the target I was trying to go after. And we overshoot the Montana. What's with overshooting? I'm thinking everything is as fast as my Iowa, apparently. Enemy destroyer has their propulsion knocked out and it doesn't look like he has last stand if he does maybe he was already really low and he's trying oh he put it out i think he was trying to sit in his smoke but he just went past the smoke because whenever your propulsion's knocked out the engine's a little bit slow to respond to your command and i try and fire on the enemy fubuki we do not succeed a couple enemy des moines are pushing the eastern part of the map. Enemy torpedoes are incoming. Oh, no. Why do you do this to me? 
I would love to take this guy out. It's a Des Moines. It's a tier 10 cruiser. He is putting pressure on my friends. I lead him with all my guns. I don't have to... Ooh, well, we're going to bump it to an Iowa because I'm trying to fit myself in between the torpedoes. Oh, nice. We got a Citadel on the Des Moines. Seven total shells made contact for 15,000. I'll take that. His friend, probably not going to make the same mistake. But who knows, right? Who knows? We've had a couple cruisers who were watching closely what my guns were doing. And whenever I fired, they re-angled. And a couple cruisers were watching something else. So maybe he'll make the same mistake. I don't know. We got to take the chance, though. Now, the enemy team appears to be moving forward. They are very close at this point. They're basically 10, 12 kilometers out. That's very close. Why would battleships ever be this close? I don't know. Maybe they feel like the game's over. Just push and win. Well, that's not how it's going to work out, my friends. I was considering firing on the destroyer if he was not taken out, but he's so low. I don't need all my guns. So I choose to only use one gun turret. Plenty. We take him out. Good. Next target, enemy Montana. Montana is showing a perfect broadside. Uh, a little greedy. But can we punish? That's really what matters. And uh, oh yeah, we punish. 47,000 points of damage. Three citadels. That felt really good. And that's all because he's showing a perfect broadside, guys. Don't do this. But the Montana cannot bring all our guns to bear. Yes, that's, that's basically what it means. You can't use all your guns. Now, I'm burning down. Two fires. Torpedo. I held onto my damage control because the torpedo. The enemy Montana dies to a torpedo. And they just tried to over-pursue too early. They were pushing too fast. I'm going to see. Look, this enemy Yamato has better angling. Yeah, we got a penetration. 13,000 is pretty good, considering. But I was trying to be as angled as I possibly could. Now, technically, the Yamato, he can penetrate my bow without having to worry about my angling at all. But I don't think he's actually worrying about me. I think he's going after something else. And he's trying to avoid those torpedoes. Well, in doing so, you have just doomed yourself because you're showing way too much of your side. And we take him out. Now, there's not a lot he could do in that situation. But I know what he shouldn't have done. He should not have shown his side to a battleship. Players are much better than they've ever been in this game. I can attest. I cannot believe how good everyone is. There was at one point where I could just freely show my broadside. Who cares? No one's going to hit me while well, that's gone. Next target, enemy hipper. Oh, interesting. Kagero is right on his butt. Actually, right on his port side. And it basically holds him in place for 13,000. We're going to take a torpedo on the front. It's going to cause a flood. It's going to do max amount of damage because there's no protection there. And I will not have damage control for another five seconds, but I will definitely use damage control the second it's available. The hipper decides, you know what? Who cares about broadside? I'm going to kill the enemy Montana. Well, hipper that does not have the Atlantic bow, you are dead to me and dead in this game somehow we're still alive i have been at the front stationary or very nearly for a long time we've assisted in taking out two cruisers a battleship and a destroyer and i think we've actually taken out we've assisted in taking out like four tier tens i think and that's just because we had good angling teammates were right there to support us we had the protection of the cruisers and destroyers. And uh, speaking of destroyers, uh-oh, enemy Kagero is in pursuit. He's right next to me. I fire off just as he appeared. I didn't catch sight of him in time. And now I'm going to pay the ultimate price. And I don't even hit the Montana. We die for our country. We die for our team. They're about uh, 250 below the enemy. This isn't looking good. But we still have a gearing, and the gearing should easily take out 
Yes, he does. He takes out the enemy destroyer. He basically has free reign. I think the other enemy destroyer is a Japanese destroyer, if I'm not mistaken. And the gearing will wipe the floor with any destroyer remaining that's Japanese, let's be honest. Gun system, far superior, as long as you don't hit the random torpedo. And we've all hit the random torpedo, let's be honest. I have made a fool of myself plenty of times. But hopefully, my team can hold on just long enough to give us a win. So, the friendly battleships appear to be engaging the Tirpitz, and that's exactly what they should be engaging, and oh, the Shimakaze. Did he fire on someone? Did he... I don't know why he's detected. He shouldn't be detected. Either way, the friendly Yamato is going to engage the Shimakaze, which is great. He takes them out, which is wonderful. You would be surprised how many battleships refuse to fire on destroyers. I can't be bothered with it. You really do want to be bothered with it because those destroyers, they are the power. They really are. They really are. I have basically been spamming destroyers in ranked play and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm either winning the game for my team or assisting in winning the game or I'm top on the XP for the losing side which means you don't lose any stars. So ranked has been awesome. As a destroyer, it's really fun. This Montana doesn't appear to be having a lot of fun. For whatever reason, he's showing a perfect broadside to battleships. You don't need to do any of that. You just need to survive. That's all the enemy team has to do, survive. They have a huge advantage. Now, the Montana on our team, he's gonna die. He's burning down, he's got a cruiser and a battleship firing on him. That is 40, 50, 60 points to the enemy team. That's gonna put them at 930. So they only need to survive long enough for two bases or a base and a half to tick up to 1,000. But do you really think they're gonna do that? No, the Montana's definitely not. The Chapayev is running away. Now check out the enemy cruiser, GG. How many of you think that is a GG because he believes his team has won the game? I think it's what that is. I think he feels very confident that his team is going to win. Look how much health the Montana has. Well, not anymore. He went from 65 to 37, right? That's not good for the enemy team. He's dying way too fast, and he's dying because he's showing a perfect broadside. I can't even zoom in, and I know it on the minimap. This is an easy shot for my division mate. I wish I saw more battleships like this with my Yamato. So he lets out his front guns. That's all he can really use. He's trying to be good and have good angling, and oh, baby, yes. He gets like 35,000 points of damage. The gearing's going to kill him. The enemy team is 30 points from victory, but they're not going to get there just yet. They still can, but threw away the ship. He had more than enough health to just live out. Stay angled, only use two sets of your guns. You just can't be greedy. You can't expect that the enemy team is going to fail. You should expect that they know how to play the game. And when you do that, then you are ready. And... <laughs> I could say that all day in ranked. Oh, ranked. So, of course, I'm trying to lead from the rear. I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes, tell them they're bad. I'm just trying to give them hope and tell them a strategy that will work. The gearing is going for C. He's going to deny all of those points immediately. All the team has to do is not die twice. Because he stopped it just a hair outside of 50 points just under 60 and for the enemy team to gain 60 I don't think it's possible because that Montana died and they only gained 40 so there's nothing in the game that will give them the 60 points they need to outright win and this guy's dying so fast because it's 3v1 right and just like that our team was able to come back win the game part of that is because the enemy team underestimated 
our team's chance to bring it back. We got four kills, five citadels, over 440,000 points of damage, 2,190 base XP. Look at the two guys on my team outscoring me. Everyone did a great job. This was really in the hands of a, a few, honestly, and the few stood strong. We did 127,000 points of damage. I felt pretty happy. Now, I wish I didn't die, but hopefully it was enjoyable for you. It was a close game. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.